For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem which says determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measure uh, counterclockwise from the positive x-axis so it's that way uh, just break down the forces F1 is equal to 4k in the positive i F2 is equal to 5k cosine of 45 in the positive i that's an i unit vector plus 5k sine of 45 in the positive j when you calculate this one it's going to give you 3.54k in the i plus the same thing 3.54k in the j cosine of 45 and sine of 45 are the exact same thing and the third force you know this angle is 45, this angle is uh, 60, you know this whole angle then is 105 and you know that this is the 90 degree angle so this is 15 degrees. But that being 15 degrees we know that the third force is negative 8 sine of 45 degrees that'll be okay sine of 45 degrees in the i direction which will be this vector and the y will be this vector and we calculate it by adding 8k cosine of 15 degrees in the j direction which is equal to negative 2.07i plus 7.73j and this is kilonewtons kilonewtons the resultant force is calculated by adding all the x components and the y components so all the x components together should give you 5.47k in the i direction plus 11.27k in the j direction to calculate the magnitude to get it in polar form to answer the question we got a square root the square of both sides square plus 11.27 square and this will give you 12.53 okay and to calculate theta you do the tangent inverse of the y over the x <coughs> 5.47 and theta will be equal to 64.1 degrees final answer final answer so this will be somewhere around here for the resultant force which makes sense because these two are facing up so this one's even greater and this one only takes out a little bit towards the x and this to take a lot of this one 